animal world is truly wonderful. Let's go on a journey to explore them. The black-crowned crane is a part of the family Gruidae, along with its sister species, the gray-crowned crane. It is topped with its characteristic bristle-feathered golden crown. It is usually found in the shallow wetlands of sub-Saharan Africa during the wet season, which act as its principal breeding, feeding and roosting sites, although it can also be found foraging in grasslands and near croplands of dry savanna. Naturally, it is characterized by its dark slate gray to black plumage, and it has stiff golden feathers at the top of its head which make up its crown. Each golden bristle-like feather is a spiral that is white on one side and brown on the other with black at the very tip. Their long legs and their toes are black, and they possess a long hind toe that allows them to grasp onto perches. Male black-crowned cranes are larger but are otherwise indistinguishable from females. Juveniles are mostly gray with a brown crown, and a nape, gray to brown body. They are generalist feeders, with a diet consisting of insects like grasshoppers, locusts, and flies, other invertebrates, like mollusks, millipedes, and crustaceans, fish, amphibians, and small reptiles. They will be mostly resident to wetlands except during the dry season, and will sometimes forage in short and dry grasses or in upland areas by livestock where insect numbers are high. Breeding may occur from May to December for the West African black-crowned crane and from July to January for the Sudan black-crowned crane. The margins for breeding time are wide as breeding success is dependent on the wet and dry seasons and the suitability of the environment. Black-crowned crane numbers will peak in the dry season where flocks may include several hundred individuals. They gather in this way before the next breeding season commences, which allows for juvenile cranes to merge with other young flocks that have not yet reached the first breeding age of 3-5 years. In the breeding season, black-crowned cranes are usually found in pairs but are also observed in groups of up to 20 individuals. Nests are built within or on the edges of dense wetlands and are constructed with grasses and sedges modified into circular platforms. Due to their opportunistic nature regarding food availability and shelter, black-crowned cranes may alter their nesting sites accordingly with the season. Clutch sizes for the black-crowned crane are made up of one to three eggs. Incubation of eggs will be performed by both males and females and will last 28-31 days. Males are known to stand guard by the nest in nearby trees, prepared to signal a threat as females forage. Chicks will forage with their parents in grassland areas the day after hatching. Fledging takes place between 60, 100 days. I just hope it was a marvelous journey. Thank you for your interest in wildlife. See you pretty soon. Till then, take care and be safe.